What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTie.com. So we already unboxed Sprint's Glasses Free 3D enabled HTC Evo 3D Android smartphone. But as you can see today, we're doing things a little differently. We're going to unbox the HTC Evo 3D again, but this time we're going to do it in style by using a second Evo 3D to record this Evo 3D unboxing in 3D. So I'm using an Evo 3D to record an Evo 3D getting unboxed in 3D. Say that 10 times fast. Obviously, not all of you are going to be able to check out the video footage uh, in 3D as it's intended, since it requires a 3D display or 3D TV, but I thought it'd be kind of cool for those of you that can take advantage of YouTube's 3D feature. Also, it'll give us a chance to test out the Evo 3D's dual 5 megapixel 3D cameras up close and indoors, so we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get started. We got a simple, plain, white box. Looks like it's white on all sides, actually. It says Sprint Experience 4G HTC Evo 3D. And then we have some information on the back. Looks like this is where we open it up. And then you can see we have some uh, white lettering that's embossed into the box, Evo 3D. Next to that, uh, it has some Android logos for the buttons, home, menu, back, and search. Kind of cool that they did that. Let's go ahead and Pull the device out. There we go. There is the Evo 3D. We'll pull that out. So you can see that it looks very, very similar to the original Evo 4G uh, from the front. And then you flip it over, and bam, you see two camera lenses staring at you. So it looks a lot different on the back. And we'll cover that in a little bit. So let me go ahead and boot this up as we finish the unboxing here. We have our getting started guide. Not sure who's gonna use that. USB to micro USB charge and sync cable, standard. And then it looks like HCC went with the same power wall adapter. Here's the box. Bring the Evo 3D back into play here, see if it booted up. And there we go. There is the new lock screen in Sense 3.0. Looks like I have to finish uh, setting up the device. I'm not going to do that now. But we did cover that new lock screen as well as the new weather animations in a previous video. So be sure to check that out. So here is the Evo 3D. Let's go ahead and check out the hardware real quick. Up here we have our sensors, earpiece speaker grill, notification light, and 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Below that, we have our 4.3 inch glasses free 3D display. So uh, with this special display, you actually can view 3D content without using any funky glasses or anything like that. So very cool that you can do that. It's almost like magic once you realize uh, you're seeing what you're seeing without the use of glasses. The screen is also in QHD resolution, so that's 960 by 540. So very high resolution screen. Uh, everything should look nice and crisp. Below here, we have our traditional Android buttons. They have the same design as on the Evo 4G, home, menu, back, and search. Flipping over to the side, we have our volume rocker over here. And on this side, we have a dedicated camera shutter key. So very cool that they've included a full-size uh, camera button there. It's a two-step key, so you press it halfway down to focus, and then you press it all the way down to take the shot. I also like that they went with this circular design uh, to emulate what you'll find on dedicated cameras. Here we have a switch to flip easily between 2D and 3D modes. So you can do that on the fly uh, while you have the camera application loaded up. On the bottom here, we just have the latch for the battery uh, compartment. I like how the battery cover engulfs the whole device. You can see that it goes almost to the front uh, on the Evo 4G, just covers the back side of the unit. On this side, we have a uh, micro USB charge and sync port which also doubles as an HDMI out port. So kind of cool that they de uh, consolidated that into one port. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Has some metallic accents as well. 
Then we also have a power button, also a sleep button. On the back of the device, this is where it starts to get a little bit strange, uh, but it's cool as well. So we have a dual five megapixel camera, two lenses, uh, both used as one to take a 3D picture or video. Of course, you can take standard uh, pictures or videos as well, up to five megapixels and 720p HD video recording. We also have a dual LED flash. I'm actually using that right now to record uh, this video with the other Evo 3D that's behind the scenes. The battery cover is a little bit different. Uh, it's more flat on the Evo 4G, uh, no texture at all. On this, it actually has some texturing here. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but it feels good in hand. Soft touch over here. Definitely feels like a uh, well-built smartphone. So let's go ahead and compare the Evo 3D next to the predecessor, the Evo 4G. So very similar devices. Of course, the Evo 3D is more powerful. It has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It has a gig of RAM, higher resolution screen at QHD resolution, and uh, it has more memory built in though you can't access all of it. Uh, the Evo 4G on the other, has, other hand has a one gigahertz single core processor, uh, has 512 megabytes of RAM, and of course, it has a different design here. So Evo 3D is a little bit taller, a little more narrow. Thickness wise, they look very similar, hard to tell from here. On the back, this is where things are noticeably different. We have a dual five megapixel camera over here for 3D pics and video, single camera lens on the Evo 4G. Notice that the uh, kickstand is no longer available for the Evo 3D. I actually prefer that they removed it because look what happened to my Evo 4D's kickstand. The spring actually broke, even though I take care of it fairly well, and now it just stays open, so kind of annoying. So that's why I'm glad I don't have to worry about that with the Evo 3D. So let's bring that out here and bring in the Google Nexus S. Of course, you can get the Nexus S 4G on Sprint as well. Nexus S is shorter, uh, thinner, narrower, lighter than the Evo 3D. Of course, it has a smaller screen as well at four inches. There it is from the other side. So this was the Evo 3D getting unboxed in 3D. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also check out more videos on the Evo 3D at smartktai.com or on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.